So do we. Wait, wait, wait. You see, say, open down, I'm Belgique. Belgique. Oh, quoi? Oui, le conseil est là, oui. C'est ça, Takin est un soldat placé. Les autres sont des médecins et des infirmières. Continuez, les enfants. Dora was good for history. That's where I had my first piece. 
pizza and other things too, of course, but it's the pizza that stands out. <laughs> Well, but it's all true, sir! What's truth got to do with it? What's truth got to do with anything? Truth was, in 1914, Germany doesn't want war. So why does no one admit this? The dead. The body count. We don't like to admit that war was even partly our fault because so many of our people died. And all the mornings tell the truth. It's not lest we forget. It's lest we remember. The cenotaph, the memorials, the two-minute silence. Because there is no better way of forgetting something than by commemorating it. So much for our glorious dead wines. Actually, Fiona's my western front. Well, last night, for instance, thought it might be the big push. Shit. No, no, no. I don't mean onto it. Certainly not into it. Up to it. Fuck. And the metaphor really fits. I mean, moving up to the front, troops presumably had to pass the sites of the previous battle. Particularly her tits, which only surrendered about a week ago, and which were indeed the start line of a determined thrust southwards. No more. No man's land must be fought by. I then had to carry out a controlled explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Still, at least I'm doing better than the headmaster. Headmaster? No, I do. Chase the tower around the desk. <laughs> if you think about it, the metaphor doesn't quite work. You see, presumably, what Fiona's carrying out is a planned withdrawal. You're not overwhelming her with superior forces. Well, does she like you? Well, of course she likes Well, in that case, you're not disputing the territory, just negotiating the pace of the occupation. Yeah, just let us know when you get to Berlin. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm beginning to like him more, you know. Me? Oh! Oh, well, he hates me. Oh, cheer up. At least he speaks to you. Most guys wouldn't even speak to you. Oh, love can be very irritating. That's what I always think about God. Well, he must get so pissed off. We're adoring him all the time. Yeah, we're going to catch God poncing about in his underpants. Mm. Oh, I where this one's going to go then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, boys. Time for some poetry of a more traditional sort. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't always understand poetry. I don't see how we can understand it. Most boys and battle hasn't even happened to us yet. Ah, but it will, Tims, it will. And when it does, you will have the antidote for it. Grief. Happiness. Oh, sorry. We've got a scene for you, sir. Oh, goody. Very well, then. Where's the kitty? I'm here for the smoke, sir. And I just happen to have some, sir. Very well. Come on. <clears throat> Jerry, please help me. Should we just have a cigarette on it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> May I sometimes come here? Whenever you like. It's your home too. There are people here who love you. <laughs> and will you be happy? Shall we? Oh, Jerry. Don't let's ask for the moon. We have the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <clears throat> Could it be? Paul Henry and Betty Davis are now more. Oh, shit! <laughs> It is famous, you ignorant little tars. Take me, please. See you, Rod.
about the Carol film, miss, is that I always say the Carols would be a good film to talk about in the exam. Whilst they have no intrinsic artistic merit, they achieve some of the purpose of art simply by persisting and achieve inc incremental significance if only in social history. Timmy, how much fun we must all have. <laughs> well, it's not like your stuff is, it's cutting edge. It really is. It's higher than your stuff, sir. It's nobler. I mean, it's not as useful. Yeah, Mr. Hector's not as fun. It's not focused at all. He's. He's blurred, sir. We know what we're doing with you, sir, with him. Half the time, we just don't. We're poor little sheep that have lost our way, sir. Where are we? Where are we, sir? <laughs> You're very young, sir. This isn't your gap year, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wish Hi, sir. Do you not like teaching us? We're not just a uh, hiccup. Between the end of university and the beginning of life, <laughs> like Auden, are we, sir? Do you like <coughs> Auden's poetry, sir? Some mm. bit, yeah. Mr. Hector does. We know about Auden. Mm, yes, we do. Do you think Auden was more like you, sir? Or more like Mr. Hector? I don't know. Why should he be like either of us? Oh, I think he was more like Mr. Hector. Bit of a shambles. He snogged his pupils. <laughs> Auden, sir, not Mr. Hector. <coughs> so, you can answer a question on Auden, then? No, sir! Mr. Hector's stuff's not meant to be interview. To make us more rounded human beings. Listen, these interviews are going to be about everything and anything you know and know. So if you get a question on Auden, or whoever, and you know about it, answer it. England, you've been here too long. And the songs you sing are the songs you sung on a break, okay? Now, they are wrong. Who's that? Oh, oh so so Steve Smith. Then don't tell me that's useless knowledge. If you get it, like question or essay or whatever on post and beyond decline. Quotation like that is the perfect way to end it. How much more have you got in your sleeves? We've well, got all sorts. Hey! The train! The train! <laughs> Homosexual. 
Unquantifiable. I mean, there's inspiration, certainly, but how do I quantify that? So, the upshot is, I'm, I'm glad he handled the boy's balls, because that at least I can categorize. It's a reason for his going, no one can dispute. You didn't know. Not that. No. I assumed you knew. He handles the boy's balls. <laughs> And to be fair, I think it was more appreciative than investigative. <laughs> <laughs> but it's inexcusable, nonetheless. No, no, it's everyone's better than you should go as soon as possible. <laughs> Can I say something? It's just we've got the biggest interview of our lives coming up, and we're sat here reading literature. Look, there's something I need to tell you about. Oh, we know all that, sir. About sharing classes with Mr. Irwin, sir. No, 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 not that. It's, uh... Does that mean your class will be more like Mr. Irwin, sir? Yeah, more you, sir. Less farting about. Hush, boys. Hush. Can't you see? I'm not in the mood. Oh, what mood is that, sir? The subjunctive. The mood of possibility. I'll get on with some work. Read. Can't you just give us the gist, sir? 
crazy it, like Mr. Irwin does. Just an uh, outline. And we can pretend. Pretend? No, 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 so that's what exams are for! Will you shut up about these exams! Shut up, all of you! Oh, what made me piss my life away in this, this godforsaken place? There's nothing of me left. I'll just go away. Go away. one's experience, uh, the only proper response is silence. Whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must remain silent. That's right, isn't it, sir? Wittgenstein. That's good. No, 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 it's not good. It's glib. It's glib. It's journalism. Why can't we simply just condemn the camps outright as an unprecedented horror? Oh, there's no point, sir. Everybody will do that. An unprecedented horror, etc., etc. No! Can't you see that even to say etc. is in itself monstrous? Etc. is what the Nazis would have said. The dead reduced to mere verbal abbreviation. Alright, not etc. But given that the death counts are thought of as unique, wouldn't another approach be to show precedence? Put them well we're in proportion. Well, well, proportion. Not proportion, then, but I mean, put them in context. Context? But to put something in context is a step towards saying it can be explained and understood. And as soon as it can be explained, then it can be explained away. That's good, possibly. It's not good, sir. I mean it. Well, no. When I say putting them in context, I mean it's just the same as the dissolution <coughs> of the monsters. Yes, right. the dissolution of the monasteries. Well, I didn't lose any relatives in the dissolution of the monasteries. Good point. Oh, not good point, sir. You keep saying good point. True. Okay, to you, the Holocaust is another topic on which we may or may not get some questions. No, 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 no. This is history. Distance yourselves. Our perspective on the past alters, and looking back, immediately in front of us is dead ground. We don't see it. And because we don't see it, it means that there is no period so remote as the recent past. Part of the historian's job is to anticipate what our perspective on that period will be, even on the Holocaust. <laughs> What the argument there, sir? You showed him. You really did. You flirt. I don't understand it. I never wanted to please anybody the way I do him. Girls not accepted. He's going, you know. You've been there. Don't let on. Fiona says. You said. Poor sod. Though in some ways I can't say I'm sorry. No more genital massage as you speed an old leafy suburban road. No more of the bike's melancholy, long, withdrawing roar. Has he dropped you at the street corner? Your honour still intact? <laughs> now he's an inch, does he, Owen? Lucid and up to a point compelling. But if you reach the conclusion, you skip me. And have you seen your handwriting recently? You're beginning to write like him. I'm not trying to, honestly. And you're writing like <laughs> him at all. I write like Dakin. Dakin writes like Erwin. There's <laughs> <laughs> no wonders for the sex man. Apparently I talk about him so much, he only gets really pissed off. Do we? It's about the only time I shut up. Would you? Do it with him. Yeah. I wondered about that. I might bring a little bit of sunshine into his life. You complacent fuck. I like him. I just wish he liked me. He does like him. He scarcely looks at anyone else. Oh, how would you know? Because neither do I. Our eyes meet, looking at Dakin. <laughs> this is just the place. He says I want it to pass. The pain. Mr. Hector would say it's, it's the only education worth having. Yeah? I'd just show marks for it. I just put in there these interviews yet. I asked about Marxist history this time. It's like I'm scared. telling you, Jacob. You've got to treat me, keep them keen. I always say. I hesitate to mention this as occasion of sophisticated growth, but it may not have crossed any of your minds that one of the dons who interviews you may be a woman. And having taught you all history on a strictly non gender orientated basis, I just wonder whether any of you appreciate how dispiriting this can be. Am I embarrassing you? Well, a bit, miss. It's not our fault, is it? That's just the way it is. 
The world is everything that is the case. It's Wittgenstein. Yes, yes, I know it's Wittgenstein. Thank you. Can you for a moment imagine how depressing it is to teach five centuries of masculine ineptitude? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think there are no women historians on TV? No tips. <laughs> oh, yeah. that boy, hit him. I'll tell you why. Because history is a commentary on the various and continuing incapabilities of men. What is history? History is women following behind with a bucket. Um, Rudge, you're up. How do I define history? Just one fucking thing after another. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you want to come to Christchurch? The one I thought we'd get into. No other reason? They will talk about sport, won't they? Well, if you're as uncommunicative as this, they may be forced to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm shit at all this. I've no good interviews. But I've got enough chats getting around the golf course. And maybe one of the guys on the board will be a golfer. <laughs> I may not know a lot about Jean Paul Sartre, but I've got a hand from four. How do you know about Sartre? He's a really good golfer. <laughs> but I know him. Fascinating. We are done for today. Thank you so much. Uh, Crotch. How's sure Sartre was a golfer? Don't know that he was. I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep telling him to lie. Very what college were you at, sir? Corpus. You happy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was fine. I think we'll be happy. Say we get in. You'll be happy anyway. Why? Uncomplicated, is that what you mean? Outgoing? Straight? The, none of them bad things to be, you know? Well, I don't know. Nice to be a bit more complicated. Or at least to be thought so. How does history happen, do you think? How does... Stuff happen. Well, some make news, I suppose. Others react to events. In 1939, for example, Hitler made a move on Poland, and Poland gave in. No, was Poland taken by surprise? To some extent, but they knew something was up. What was your essay on? Turning points. Oh, again? Yeah? It's subjunctive history. The subjunctive, the mood used when something might or might not have happened. Hector's crazy about the subjunctive. Why are you smiling? Nothing. Good luck with your interview, Dakin. Lying's good, isn't it? Lying works. We prove that. 
You ought to learn to do it properly. Anybody else when I tell you we could go have a drink? Is that a euphemism? Saying a drink when you actually mean something else? It is, yeah. Actually, further to the drink, what I was really wondering was, is there any chance of your sucking me off? Or something similar. Actually, that would please Hector. What? You're sucking me off. It's a gerund. He likes gerunds. <laughs> <laughs> and you're being scared shitless. That's another gerund. Didn't know you were that way inclined. I'm not. But it's the last day of term. I've just got into Oxford to thought we might push the boat out. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it on the table. <laughs> but I don't understand this. How come there's such a difference between the way you teach and the way you live? How come you're so, come you're so bold when it comes to argument and talking, but when it's something that's actually happening? I mean, now that it's come to the point, you're so fucking careful. Is it because you're a teacher and I'm a boy? Obviously that. Well, why? Who cares? I don't. You already have one master that touches you up. Oh, is that it? Does he don't want to be like Hector? Well, you can't be. You won't be. Hector's a joke. Don't take out your sodding diary. Maybe next week? Oh, next week? Hey, get this man, you can suck me off next week. <laughs> I've heard of a crowded schedule, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> God, we've got a long way to go. Do you ever take your glasses off? Take off my glasses is the last thing I do. Yeah? Well, I look forward to it. And we're not in the subjunctive anymore. It's going to happen. <laughs> Um, I was just wondering, sir, I mean, what's the difference between uh, Mr. Hector feeling us up on the bike and your feeling up Fiona? I mean, a comparable situation historically would have been the dismissal of Cardinal Wolsey. Oh, don't give me that Cardinal Wolsey shit. I've never known such a poem. Your scholarship seems to have gone to your head. Miss Proctor! Mr. Hector to my study, please. So what are we doing late tonight then? Oh, oh, fancy a drink? Yeah. Come on over there. Hey guys, guys. This is what's known as Posner's reward. Oh. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> a long awaited moment. What's wrong with it? And so going round the corner, he probably leaned out instead of in, and so unbalanced Hector. Trust him to lean the opposite way to everyone else. But he had no memory of what caused it. I suppose the last thing he remembered was me asking him out for a drink. Something we never did, incidentally. And, barring accidents, it would have happened. Listen, there is no barring accidents. It's just like I said, history... It's just one fucking thing after another. I took it all to heart. Everything. I remembered everything I was ever taught. The words, the songs, the poems, the sayings. The words of Hector. Never forgot. 
He was a good man, but I don't think there's time for his kind of teaching anymore. No. Love of Park is the only education worth having.